Hi Brad from WPSites.net Let's take a look at displaying an image slider in different theme headers uh, on the home page only. Um, I've already shown you how to display an image slider in different header areas um, however that tutorial relates to displaying the image slider on every page of your site so in this uh, tutorial you'll learn how to display the image slider on the home page only so we'll just take a look at what I mean by that uh, look at a demo site here and uh, this is installed on my, on my local PC using Instant WP um, so I can play around with it and this is the home page and we clicked on the blog page you can see the header, the uh, the image slider and the header is gone or any of the other pages they don't display the, uh, the the image slider so this this is not a bad way to do it um, I'll show you how to uh, do this using different themes this is the Genesis theme framework so this will uh, work for all Studio Press themes I'll also show you how to uh, to get this done using 2011 uh, default theme and also the latest 2012 default theme which is here so we'll just take a look at what that looks like so you can see it looks pretty nice and this is on the home page and if we go to the blog, blog page it's not displayed so you'll learn how to do that it's all pretty easy it's not difficult it's just a matter of using some specific code and the code that we used in the last tutorial is pretty similar to what we'll use in this one except I've replaced part of that code with this little bit of PHP which is is home so um, this, this makes a slider display on the home page only so you'll need this code we're using the easing slider plugin which is a free plugin and I've linked to that in my previous uh, tutorial so you can easily install and configure that uh, that plugin so firstly let's just take a look at displaying the image slider on the Genesis theme framework which will also work for all studio press themes you'll need to install the Genesis simple hooks plugin and I've linked to that and you'll find a link to this blog post be um, below the video so let's just uh, let's just log into WordPress so we're in the back end of WordPress um, I'll activate the Genesis theme framework and once you've installed the simple hooks plugin it will display here so you can see simple hooks so search for the simple hooks plugin go to plugins add new and type in uh, Genesis simple hooks install that plugin and these are the different hook locations and all you need to do is paste that code in and if we scroll down here to the the header hooks you'll see there's three different header hooks so you can choose which ones you want to use I, I'm actually using the Genesis after header hook so I've pasted that code in there and um, you'll get the code from the uh, tutorial here it is here I've pasted that code in there I've checked this box here then I've gone up to the header hook and I've um, unhooked the header as well so uh, let's just have a look at the result of that and see what that does so here's your normal page which um, these are any of the pages or posts on your site you see there's no uh, image slider if we go to the home page we've got the image slider so this is what we wanted to achieve we've got the we've got the menu above the uh, the image slider you can easily change that and hook it in below um, you've got the header area here so you can put an image or a logo in your header or a text header or you can actually remove that entirely and, uh, and I've linked to a t tutorial on how to do that and it's just a matter of changing the header height to zero so here it is here you'll find two links on this tutorial to changing the the header area height which is very very straightforward so you can uh, you've got all the tools here to fully customize um, your image slider in your header area so that's what it looks like and, and and this particular setting on the slider is displaying the shadow arc so it's like this you can easily change that so if we go back into our WordPress dashboard once you've installed the easing sliding plugger plugin <laughs> go to uh, sliding slider settings and just disable this shadow arc 
we'll save the changes and we'll just have it see what that looks like Th this will drop down a bit now so you can see it's nice and flat here looks really nice and it's a great way to display images or, or anything you like on your home page so that's how you get the job done with the Genesis theme framework now let's just take a look at other themes you might be using a different theme so we'll go to appearance themes and we'll take a look at using um, the 20, 2012 theme so I'll activate that and this will look fairly similar so there it is here looks pretty good this is the latest free default theme for WordPress 2012 We'll go to the blog page and you see it's not displaying on any other pages, only the home page. So that was really easy, but I'll, you have to put some code in there. You can't use the Genesis Simple Hooks plugin, so you'll have to edit some code. So you'll have to log into FTP or cPanel, and we'll have to find the file. So we'll go to the file. Yours probably won't look like this, but... Uh, We'll go into WP Content once you once you uh, download the file from FTP or you're logging using cPanel themes, and we'll go down to 2012 theme, and you can you can put the code in the header or the index file. I think it's better in the header. So go to the header PHP, use a um, a free text editor like Notepad plus plus and you need to paste the code in here and I've actually if you read the tutorial I've shown you exactly where to paste it so this is using the 2012 theme and here it is here on line 47 is probably one of the best places but you can play around here you can put it in different locations uh, depending on whether you want to display the slider before or after the header in the menu and you can easily change the positions of the menu navigation menus as well so we'll go to line 47 and we'll just have a look at where it is where I've placed the uh, placed the code so here it is you can see the code down here on line 50 I couldn't find it there I'm losing my eyesight I think but uh, you can place it down here on line 50 of your header.php file for using the 2012 default theme and this is how, is it, how it will display here on the home page only or you could move it here and you could have it uh, in different areas you could comment out your header image there easily or you could put it here or even up here so it's really easy to uh, display an image slider if you're using the 2012 theme for WordPress and it's just a matter of going to your, your header.php file which you can access using FTP or, or cPanel. Um, you could even go into the back end of WordPress, go to Appearance Editor and you could come down to your header.php file here and you could place the code in here. It's not something that I like doing because it doesn't display the line numbers. However, there is a plugin you can install to, to display the line numbers but you can see it here, you can see the code that I placed in and that's to display the header. So uh, so that's how you do it in 2012. Now let's just take a quick look at uh, at 2011, it's been a fairly popular theme um, and it is a great theme. So 20, let's have a look at 2011. So we we'll activate 2011 and we'll just check this out and see what it looks like. The 2011 um, header area is a lot larger, it's a thousand pixels in height. So this is what it looks like on 2011 and it's above the navigation menu there. So if I click any of the uh, pages or posts, you'll see that it's, uh, it's only, it only appears on the, uh, on the home page, which is what we want. So, so it looks quite good. I just need to increase the size of the slider which is really easy you can adjust that in the slider settings so we just go here slider settings and we just go down to the width here and change it from 960 to 1000 so uh, that's 1000 save the changes there and that looks pretty pretty good doesn't it it's uh, that's without the shadow arc so you could change the the effect there very easy and uh, and you can change the uh, the header height here as well and you could add your image here or, or some text so if you're a beginner and you don't know how to do that just go to appearance header and uh, 
and it shows you the width is 1000. I've changed the height to 80, 80 picks. So I've, I've, I've linked to a tutorial on how to do that and you'll find the link uh, changes the, the size here. You'll find the link there. It's very easy to do that. Um, so you just upload your image there if you want to use text. Um, you know, just uncheck there and go to settings, general and put the, your site title and tagline in there so that's that's pretty straightforward now to do this you'll need to access you can you can do this using the index.php file or the header.php file I think it's better in the header.php file and, I, and I've written about that and I've got two examples of uh, this is assuming you're using the index.php this is assuming you put place the code in the header.php so we'll go to the header.php in 2011 theme and we'll go to line 77 so uh, what files is that's the other theme let's just go uh, back into uh, our themes WP content themes that's 2011 we're looking for here now let's just go to the header.php file and we'll open this up and where did I place the code on line 77 so you can see the code there and you can play around with this you can comment out the header here um, like this uh, and remove the header area entirely um, and you can play around that with the navigation menu as well you could have that before or after the header or you can have the slider before or after the the navigation menu so it all happens here in the header.php file and just place the code in there and uh, so that's how you do it with the 2011 theme and you'll find more information on my site so um, that's about it folks thanks for watching and see you next time cheers